so we must be live. This is Tim Dow for Living With MS in Tenerife. Good morning, everybody. If you're watching on Catch Up, my name's Tim. I go walk in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, around about nine o'clock around the coastlines of Tenerife. And um, on Monday evening, I go live at 5.55 on Meetup Monday. Wednesday is Balcony Banter at 5.55 and Friday's Freaky Friday at, you guessed it, Cracker Jack time. And uh, if you like, ty like that type of thing, I've been all switched on and off, won't work, then uh, join me for a few times. And if you really like it, consider subscribing. So um, what we're going to do today, I am outside Overseas Supermarkets, which is the old Iceland. And it's opposite the Aqualand Water Park. This is the smaller of the two water parks here in, uh, in the south of Tenerife. And I'm going to have a walk around Aqualand, basically. So I'm going to search for Don Quixote. And for those of you who know the story and where I am, well, that means I'm going to walk around to the, the white windmill, El Molino Blanco. And then from the white windmill, I'm going to come back through the car park, have a coffee in uh, Hemingway's if it's open, which I'm sure it is, and then back to the car. I was supposed to meet Jenna from last night, but she got the message late. In fact, she still hasn't got the message. So she's living, or oh, not living, but staying up in Laguna Park too. So uh, if you're watching this, Jenna, hi. Uh, I'll meet you at Hemingway's for a coffee if you fancy at around about uh, quarter to 10, something like that, about 45 minutes from now. We've got some people coming in live. So if you are live, welcome. And uh, it's, again, if you say you're on catch up, you can't interact in the chit chats, which I do quite a lot, but you can leave me a comment and uh, tell me where you're from and maybe a place to suggest where we go. Now, if you want to join me on a walk, it's pretty easy because what you can do is go to timothydowd.com slash events. And there I put up all the walks and the meetup Mondays and the freaky Fridays. And you just let me know you're coming. It looks like a ticket, but it doesn't cost you anything. You just go in and if you press uh, I'm going or I think I don't know what it says on the button but if you press the button to say that you're going to come it'll ask you for your email address what I really want to do is your name where you're staying in the name bit and your email address and then what happens is you get a confirmation that I've, that it's, it's been sent and then I shall read it not immediately because it doesn't it, for some reason it doesn't notify me so I've got to look every day and then what happens is if one person books, then it's closed. Nobody else can book. So what you're actually doing is reserving it for you. The only reason I do that is because if two people reserve the same day, one's here and one's in Los Cristianos, I can't do that. So basically, hello. So basically what we're doing here is we're limiting it to the first come, first served. But if anybody wants to join us, then I will tell them where I'm going to be. So that means if you are, come and say hello. So we've got some people over here now who are waving at me. So we're going to find out who they are. We're going to interview them. We're live on YouTube. What's your name? Live on YouTube. Yeah? Uh, Matty Hill. Matty Hill. Yeah. We've got Matty Hill and his mate. Colwyn Bay's number 10. Colwyn Bay's yeah. number 10. Is he a footballer? Yeah, yeah. footballer. All oh, right. You, you know Webby then, of course. What's oh, your name? Aiden. Aiden? Aiden, yeah. Right. Yeah, if you can see yourself in here, Aiden. There you go. So. YouTube. YouTube, we do, uh, I go live Monday Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at night and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the morning. So we're live right now. We've got, I don't know how many people, as it say there, 43 people watching already. Ooh. I've just started. It gets up to about 100. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we go for a walk and uh, I interview people. So you're a footballer. I will, yeah. I'm yeah. A footballer, yeah. You're a footballer. Cool, dude. I've got a mate called Webby. We've just started a sports roundup here on Tenerife. It's called Webby Sports Roundup. And he does all the um, sport news, yeah. and he's he, in fact, uh, you know, you know, Ian Allison, ex-Arsenal player, Allinson, Ian Allinson, seventies, yeah, like George yeah. Best era. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm well before. I'm 22 years old. You're only 22 years old. Yeah, yeah. I would hate to be 22 again now. I'd hate to be 22 again now. Colwyn Bay, so you Welsh? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah? no, I say I'm Welsh. I'm English, yeah. but I play for Wales. You play for Wales. Yeah. All right. So how long have you been playing for Colwyn Bay? Uh, two years. Two years? Yeah, yeah. And are you, what, what position do you play? Striker. You're a striker? Yeah. You know, good looking 22 year old striker. Are you single? No, I've got a missus. He's got a missus yeah. as well. Got any kids? Nah.
No, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I do. I do hope to have some uh, kids soon. But uh huh. And yeah. what's your, what's your plan then? What's your career plan? Uh, play for Colwyn Bay. Till somebody uh, pays you millions. Mate, ho hopefully someone aspires. Like someone realizes that I want to progress. Uh huh. What what league's Colwyn Bay now? I'm not sure. Uh, Welsh Prem. The Welsh Premier yeah, League. Yeah, That's pretty good then, isn't it? Really? Yeah, well, no, it's the, it's the highest of the Welsh leagues. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The highest of the Welsh leagues, ladies and gentlemen. We got famous on people on here. Famous people. <laughs> cool dude. And uh, are you staying over here on holiday? I am, but yeah. Where it's, are you staying? It's, uh, currently off season, so. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm staying over there. The uh, apartments over there, at the hacienda. Okay, very nice. And uh, where do you where do you go for fun? What's what's your what's your like Las Americas, Los Cristianos, uh, or around here? Well, last night we went to, was it Las Americas? Last night, I'm still going. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> you, you, yeah. You've not been home yet? I've not been asleep yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> not been asleep, yeah. but yeah, uh, Las Americas, we've been to Costa Rodeca. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we've, we've, we've been to a few places cool dude. tonight. So. I mean, I don't know where people go in the evenings because I'm like, I'm an old bugger, so I'm in bed early, you know, but yeah. I live in a little place called Kaya Savaki. So what you want to do is get a bus. Uh, if you go down over the bridge there towards San Agino, there's a bus that stops on the left-hand side coming this way and uh, it's called the 473 and it's going to Los Gigantes. And that takes you around all the little villages on the coast. Dead interesting. You can get there in the morning, right? Go up to Los Gigantes, have some scran, and then on the way back, drop it off in every little village on the bus and just drink and eat and, and walk. It's fantastic. Okay, okay. And it's different than everybody else's holiday, you know, yeah, with yeah, Torre yeah. Molinos and all that crap. Well, I'll tell you what, mate, we'll leave it to it. Cool, dude. Thank, thank you very thank, much for thank coming you. on. Yeah, thank you. Do you want to say hello to anybody before I go? Yeah. Uh, hello. There you go. And the channel is called Timothy Dowd, D O W D. Dowd? D O W D, Dowd like loud, but D O W. You got you got your phone there. Yeah. Go out, nip nip into YouTube and just put in at Timothy Dowd, and that's me. Cool dudes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what you guys are saying. Morning, Julie. Morning, Anne. Hello. You got socks older than him, Tim. <laughs> Ray Duffy. Good morning, got everyone. Socks older. I've got socks older than you. <laughs> cool dude. Hey. Fantastic, man. And Cheers. good luck with the career. Cheers, man. And are you the trainer or are you a footballer as well? No, ex. Ex, ex footballer. Ex. You're retired ex. already. Yeah, 27, too old now. Oh, right, yeah. I've got underpants older than Full you. Full time shagger now. <laughs> Instagram <laughs> underscore Matty Hill. Hey. Yeah. Instagram hey. underscore Matty Hill. Hey. Matty with a Y or an IE? Y. M A T T Y H I L L. I'll be right. I'll be there. Cool dudes. We're all famous. See, Webby, I do know footballers. There we go, morning, morning. Keith, the all was dull. Hi, guys, on our way. We're on our way, okay. I'm gonna walk back towards you then, so I can meet you at the bottom of the hill, the little roundabout just before the bridge, because I'm gonna turn left at the bridge. Before I'm not gonna go over the bridge. I'm gonna turn left at the bridge. Cool dude. You got socks, I love that. I got socks older than you. I'm gonna steal that, Ray, thanks very much. Good morning, Angry Velo, flying trucker on our way, okay. Good morning, Tim, Dolly Keithley. Morning, Basil. Okay, I'm going backwards, backwards, backwards. He was on, Steve Coe was on, Don was on, Ian at home. Don, what are you doing to Webby? What are you doing to Webby? <laughs> he takes all your comments seriously. <laughs> cool dude, cool dude. You are Webby Scout, there you go. <laughs> Good morning, all very moist in Lee today. Okay, so. I don't know where I was before, uh, before the um, Matty Hill came, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to walk towards and see if we can uh, meet up with Jen and Ian. And if anybody else is coming, I don't know, are they going to bring the whole family? There was a whole entourage last night, wasn't there? I don't know if you saw that, but uh, if you didn't, there you go. Let's turn you around, see where we are. Morning, Tony. Bucketing down in East Kick Braid. Oh no. So, for those of you just joining us, we're outside the back of Aqualand. So, this is the back of Aqualand. And uh, up the road from, or down the road from Laguna Park, too. And of course, the Toby Jug's over there, which is the, the centre of CD Tenery Football Club. 
That's where they get picked up for the away games, uh, for the home games. And just up this hill here, on the left in 100 yards, is where we film Webby's football sports show on a Wednesday at 3.30. So if you're going to come and watch that done, this is Roy's Pizza right here. And right next door to that is the Palms Sports Bar. And uh, so that's where we are every Wednesday at 3.30, filming Webby's Sports Roundup, the football version. Now, Webby Sports Roundup's going to change for those of you who are, who are following him. So check in on Friday at 7 uh, to find out the news about that. And uh, yeah, Webby's got a wedding on Saturday, on Friday, so he won't be live. So it won't be a premiere. I'm just going to push the, uh, the show out on Friday. OK, let's check these off so I can read. What I really need is bifocal bloody sunglasses, don't I? Close your eyes. Do you close your eyes underwater? <laughs> Matthew Hill, that's him. Matty Hill, of course we do. Good point. Put him actually one of the pretty villages just outside Keithley. OK, cool dude. So, Matty, great to see you this morning. And uh, hope you had a great night last night and get some kip. Or well, you won't be playing next season. Cool, dude. So, let's have a look a little bit here. Rigger's on. Hi, Rigger. Matty Hill, there you go. Instagram. We're walking round towards Hemingways. Why are you walking round towards Hemingways? I'm not going to Hemingways. We can see you. Are you behind me, in front of me? Are you up there, are you? Are you up there? I was at the wrong place this morning. Give us a shout if you can hear me. Okay, we've got 81 people watching already. Hills, you just joined us. This is the way to San Eugenio, but I'm going to take a sharp left at the bottom here, looking for Don Quixote. Don Quixote fighting windmills. Windmills Molino Blanco. Molino Blanco. So here's Aqualand. So I'll hang on here a second to see if they're coming down this hill. We're walking towards Emmyways, we can see you. I can't see you though. Yes, I can, maybe. Are this the people coming down? Oh, there we are. We got some walkers. We've had Matty Hill. Now we've got the truckers. Hello, Jenna. <laughs> I'm 30 seconds behind. I'm gonna leave old Durham town. Good morning. Good morning. How the devil are you? Right. Good to see you. You didn't get my message last night. He yeah. said he sent me the message and went to sleep. That's what it is. And um, him and um, then let me know. And before we went, she said, text Dan Tim's number so they could sort it. Yeah. <laughs> and 
I'm taking it. I'm taking it. So. I've got Tim's message. You got it? Yeah. Did you get the picture as well? That was outside your flat? Yeah. Right, I'm going to put this down. Actually, it won't. I'm going to give it you. There you go. So who's having the microphone? You're going to get it. We had it last time. We can learn a bit about Dan today. Shall I interview you, Dan? Fair enough. Okay, cool dude. Just turn it on. There we go. And clip it on here. I guess we're going to need a topic. You ain't got a first, mate. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> right, yeah, okay, ladles and jelly spoons. Here we are with the uh, the flying truckers. Good morning. That sounds like a uh, well, sounds like a circus act. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the family like? Is it like a circus, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Four so, boys and one little girl. So yeah. what relationship are you then? I'm Jen's husband. You're Jen's husband? Yeah. She told me she was single last time yeah. I met her. Well, she would do, wouldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she says, in, on Tenerife, what's, what happens on Tenerife stays on Tenerife. <laughs> yeah. Says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how many kids you got? Five. Five kids? Yeah. You having any more? No. Is that it, is it? Yeah. Tie well, not, I've it? got my little girl now, I'm happy. Oh, right. <laughs> Four boys and a little girl, was yeah. it? Yeah. Little girl's youngest. And uh, don't, don't, don't tell me now I'm going to get this. I can't do it, I can't get it, I can't get it. Evangeline. Evangeline. Lean. Yeah. Evangeline. Or Eva. Or Eva. Okay. Well, that's what we call And her. she was so cute last night. She was. Oh, uh, she's, she can be, but then other times she can be a demon. A demon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one of those. I'm going this way. Oh, cool. So, because I mean, if I go down there, I've got to come back up. Yeah. I'm not daft, you know. <laughs> Actually, I'm daft. Well, so, Dan the man, what's your surname, Dan? Kinder. Dan Kinder. And yeah. where do you live? Halifax. And were you born and bred there? No, I was born in Huddersfield. In Huddersfield? Yeah. Halifax to Huddersfield, how did that happen? Met Jenna. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, went to school in uh, Huddersfield? Yep. Did you do any uh, training or whatever? I uh, met Jen doing animal care at college. Oh, you did animal care? Yeah. Is that a course? Yeah. What's it called? Bee tech in animal care. A bee tech in animal care. And what does that entail? That's interesting. Oh, I did animal care. You did animal management. So it's basically just showing you the teacher how to basically look after like anything from small animals all the way up to farm animals. So it's not it's not into sort of farming animals. It's like no everything from domestic to farm animals. Okay. And uh, like apart from feeding them. What, them. what else you got to do? So it's like, say with a sheep, it teaches you how to position them for a health check and stuff like that. All right. And does it go into shearing them? No, it was just more like picking them up, sitting them on the bum, and then just checking the uh, hooves and stuff and everything else. Cool, dude. And uh, is that part of a, of a wider course, or is that something you can do yeah, as a job? It, it leads to the animal management side of it, which then progresses to veterinary. Okay, so you can go all the way up to yeah. vet with that, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Cool, dude. Is that one of your aspirations? or? It used to be. Family tech presidents now. Yeah, don't? that's it. And I went back to college for travel and tourism. Uh huh. Jen was pregnant with a second child then. Yeah. And again, then that took presidency over it again. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm just like a general labouring person now, warehouse man. Okay. And that's what you're doing right now, is it? But oh, when she got the cancer, I stopped and became like a full-time dad and carer. Okay. Okay. So I'm not working at the moment. Okay. Ex kitchen man. Grill, grill man and all sorts. Uh -huh. Jack of all trade, master of none. You know, there is, there is a, um, the jack of all trades, master of none is the first part of the saying. Yeah. It carries on, but I can't remember it. I'm sure you'll tell me on Google, but it's something like jack of all trades, master of none, but I would rather be master of one. Yeah. Yeah? No. That's the one. No, no. It's, anyway, it, it, no, it doesn't mean, no, it's the other way around. It actually means jack of all trades, master of none. But doing lots, well, I, you look it up anyway, but basically the, the master of none is not, the, is not the, the bad bit. Yeah. It's actually saying jack of all trades is better than yeah, yeah. master you know, of one. Yeah, yeah, we don't take a hand to everything. There you go. Hello, everybody. It's this flying trucker. Where is he? Whoever he is. <laughs> behind us somewhere. Are they behind us? He's still there, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I originally, when I first left school, I wanted to be a mechanic. What, car mechanic? Yeah, um, 
I can still do little bits now, mm -hmm. but it's just a case of more than having the patience with the kids running around trying to grab out little parts and stuff. <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. Can't you just put me in the boot? Well, I wish. My car's only a little clear. A little clear. She lives across the road from us. <laughs> Jen's got a seven. Jen's got a brand new car, and I've got a 2004 clear. Oh wow. Uh, we're not going too fast for are we? Uh, not sure. You all right, Jenna? You all right? Should we should we let's slower the pace? I saw you coming with the stick. I thought you were to hit me. Saying where were you? <laughs> Morning, Brendan. Susan, Anne Marie. Super Simon, don't forget, I would check out Simon Farrant's channel. That channel, actually, Simon, he's so creative, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, so go and check him out. I don't know why he doesn't have a lot of followers. Every one of you should just go and help Simon. Uh, or bump his subscriber. That's what we all need to do. All about helping the There we go. Man. Jack of all trades, a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much, Dom. Oftentimes better than a master of one. See? Yeah, that is so, have you been to this place? No, I haven't been down this side. All right, this is Palo Chosso, which is a uh, uh, guachinchi. Now, there's two things there's a guachinchi and there's a chiringuito. A chiringuito is the like a local Canarian restaurant on the beach, yeah. and a guachinchi is a local Canarian restaurant up the hill or in the mountains or wherever. So these, I, th I think, um, I've not been here, but I think what's his name's been here, um, Rick and Shelley. Mm. So I have a check on their channel to see if they've got that one. Morning, Jeffrey. Good night last night too, it was. Thank you very much for coming. So we're in the car park behind Aqualand. So over this direction here is Hemingways, and this direction is uh, the Molino Blanco. So that's where we're gonna go for a minute. We've only been on 22 minutes. We're going to take our lives in our hands and go over to this grill, which is brand new, but it looks boarded up now. <laughs> or no, that's the blinds, isn't it? Yeah. That's temporary, but it's not wood, is it? it looks like blinds. So this is Pal Chosso, Quachinchi. Let's have a quick look inside. Oh, it is a ramp as well, so you can get up in a wheelchair. Don't know. Barrel inside, there you go. Quite nice. nice. Uh, rustic tables. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, just so. That's a nice ramp. Next to it is the grill. Now, this is, uh, hasn't been open long. What does it say there? Mirkula's Wednesday is Burger Day. Cuevas Thursday is Tapper's Day. Beardies and Sabado and Friday night is a DJ. And Sunday is Promo Shishas. Promo Shishas, that's, uh, that's that singer, isn't it? No, okay. <laughs> I'll be here till Desde from, yeah, from six o'clock. Monday, Tuesday <coughs> closed. There you go. But it looks quite nice, gastro pub. Mm. So that means it's quite nice food. Gastro bars aren't too bad. Smell lovely, but Sorry. Should give up smoking. <laughs> so this nice car park is usually plenty of plenty of space. It was quite full today. Oh, here we go. Here's the British menu. Menu. Uh, nacho galley, taquinos, galley croquette tasting, chips with cheddar. Chicken fingers, honey mustard, chips with cheddar to share. There you go. The galley burger, the uh, rolls earlier, chicken teriyaki, the King Africa, the bomb, Michael Delacaye, Ganas, David Guetta, the remix, Pink Floyd, the pigs. I like that. <laughs> galley kids, and in the green zone salad, and Paul McCartney, because Paul McCartney's a vegetarian. There you go. So we're going to go up the steps. Uh, up. i got to bounce my camera upside down so that it knows I'm doing steps. <laughs> Oops. And this is... La Casona. La Casona. 
like I saw on the other day. And this looks like it's open new as well, because it was a derelict place, so it still looks derelict because there's no roof on that side. Uh -huh. Is there? There's a roof on this side, but I don't think it's open. But we shall see what we shall see. And of course, the white windmill, El Molino Blanco. So we can have a look in the back here, but then I'm going to come down and go back there. So don't come up if you're coming back. What I could do, ladies and gentlemen, is just run around the corner and get away from them, but I'm not going to do that. So the entry's around the corner, but I'm not sure whether it's this. But this is uh, a Molino Blanco. Give you an idea of what it's like. There you go. Marble tables. It is beautiful in here. It looks really nice. And they used to have a singing chef on, but I don't know whether he's there anymore. Oh. And the people who have little Germany now used to work here. All right. The chef and the head waitress were Axel and uh, Kirsten. And now they've got the little Germany in Kaiserwachi. Cool dudes. We're coming back down Phil to a uh, sleeping trucker. <laughs> So give us a, tell us why we should um, <coughs> subscribe to your channel, Ian. Why you should subscribe to my channel? Yeah. Because I need it. <laughs> very, very need it. Sell yourself. Sell yourself. <laughs> the content's better than what you give yourself, mate. It is good. It is. And you get to see the puppies. You'll get to see the puppies, yeah. Exactly. And there's obviously I, I more like coming. Dogs, but I couldn't eat a whole one. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not on ones of mine. So uh, where can we find you? I'm flying trucker on what are, we, what are we on at the moment? YouTube? Yeah. On Facebook. On They're Facebook linked to, well. together. Mm -hmm. That's it for the moment. And how many subscribers do you have now? Just over 80. Just over 80? That's, 8 zero. That's, that's gone up nearly 20 since I've been here. Very good. Because you've been doing more Tenerife content, have you? Just pushing it out, yeah. 81 yeah. 81, you're on. 81, there you go. I'll have to subscribe to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am, actually. <laughs> so, um, what's your next uh, your next film that you're going to do here? Next one we're doing here? Have boat we boat trip. trip. We've got a boat, boat uh, trip. Yeah, I had a yacht for the day. Okay. Hi. Hi. With Hi. Dan. From Tenerife first. Okay, Tenerife first excursions. Yeah. Give them a plug. And it's a private one, so it's just us. Okay. Just ten of us on a yacht. Ten of us. There yeah. used to be a shop in the place where I used to live. <laughs> we can go fishing. Plenty, go on plenty, fishing. Of, plenty of bait. There you are, the fish. Well, that's what we need, clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool dude. So. This is El Molino Blanco, and there's like three entrances. That one we just saw is sort of a back entrance, and then this one is a side entrance, and then the front's round the front. That's a bit weird, isn't it? The side entrance is at the side, the back entrance at the back, <laughs> and the front entrance at the front. What are you talking, Tim? Lodo Abish. <laughs> what they should do is put tables in here, shouldn't they? Oh, clear it all out, yeah. Maybe they, maybe they do for a wedding or something like that. Nice little area. That is. Those of you just joining us, we're at the back end of uh, El Molino Blanco. There are steps at this entrance, so it is not wheelchair friendly, but at the front it is. Let's have a quick look at menu. Uh, see if we get the English one. Here we go. Creamy carrot soup, vichyssoise, Andalusian gazpacho, exotic salads, warm salads, salmon. Meat, here we go. Leg a suckling lamb at low temperature with mint sauce Ooh. or in its juice. There you go. See, suckling lamb on the shelf is a picture of David. Duck confit with orange, that sounds nice as well. Uh huh. Children's menu. There's never any children on the children's menu. No. No. Flambe desserts and homemade desserts, there you go. And P, P is price per person. So these are these uh, dishes with rice, are priced per person. Minimum two people, there you go. Apart from the risotto of Norwegian salmon and wild asparagus, you can have it all to yourself. <laughs> so, um, is it Dan or Dan? No. Dan. Dan, yeah? Yeah. 
You're not Daniel. Well, that's my Sunday name. Only the wife of my mum called me Daniel. All right. So, um, where, did we, where did we start? Uddersfield, went to school, went to college. Yeah. So, uh, have you been, uh, you done any army or anything like that? I were in the Territorial Army. The Territorial Army? The Terrors? Yeah. Um, what in there for that long? No. And then, what was my alarm? What? This time we get up, is it, Dan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I did a few, like, weekend bounties and stuff like that. That uh -huh. was good fun. But nothing major. Didn't do it, sort of, like, get called up for any... Uh -huh. We need you in the reserve side of it. OK. It was more... Our young Zillion didn't like authority. Uh -huh. I'm just going to film up here now. Yeah. To show people where we are. This is Las Dahlias. A bureau star, Las Dahlias. And this is the TF1, or the TF1. And there is Don Quixote. There he is, in fact. Don Quixote. <laughs> so we got uh, over there Ponderosa. And on the way to Siam Park down there, Ian at home lives up here somewhere. And oops. Oh, uh, so we're going to go back towards Themingways now. Themingways. You all right? I don't do bridges. So I wasn't <laughs> you don't do bridges? She don't do a lot of running, but put her on a bridge, she can run like Usain Bolt. <laughs> so let's have a little bit of B-roll here. Jen is asking, has anybody ever stayed at Malibu Park and what's it like? Uh, don't put it in the chat here, or you can put it in the chat if you want, but later put it in the, in the permanent comments. This looks nice, doesn't it? Nice outside area. I've been here three times, but I've never eaten here. Webby's up. Right, Webby. <laughs> Webby, boom. <laughs> Where have you been? I had a uh, footballer on today. Colwyn Bay striker. Matty Hill. Came and introduced himself. Going to be famous. And who's that? That is actually Don Quixote. Or as we say in the north, Don Quixote. <laughs> Don Quixote is. You like Don Quixote? Don, Don Quixote. Don Quixote. When, when I was a kid, I thought it was a donkey. Yeah. A Don Quixote. But it was, what was his donkey called? What was Don Quixote's donkey called? There you go. That's the question for you. So. Now there's two ways round here. We can either walk around the boring bit up there, yeah. or we can go back through the car park, but go a different way when we get down the bottom. Good I'm trailer. I'm going to go car park myself. That's fine. But before I do that, we're going this way, Jenna. But I'm just going to show them over here. So, so here we go. Volume, that way, like. Oh, we can go this way. We can go this way. There you go. Yeah. This is the other entrance to Palchosso. I get to sit on a wall. Here we go. Um, ti dum ti sat on a wall. <laughs> um, ti dum ti had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men. I, I've started too high. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't put Humpty together again. We've got 80 people watching already. I jinxed it when I said we get 100, didn't I? <laughs> so this is the uh, footpath entrance down into the car park by the Pal Chosso. And this is the, the tennis bit. All the parking spots, they pick that one. 
always that one person in a big car that does it as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not feeling too well. Need to have a glass of water, I think. Paddle ball. <laughs> no. My mouth's gone dry. Mm. All right, so here we go. Here's your tennis club, paddle ball, Zena. Right, we're going to take our lives in our hands in a minute. Have they? I bet they haven't got what they, but they haven't got to know what I do do for training though. So we're coming up to the back end of Aqualand now. And Hemingways. Uh, Hemingways is beautiful. Been there a few times. Have you? Yeah, hello. That's what colour I want my car. What's that? Bright but Cadbury purple. Oh, that, that's uh, your car, is it? No, that's what. That, where that Ford is, uh, that's yeah. the colour I want my car. All right. Thank you, Ray. Paz is on, get some sun with Paz, go and check his channel out. Did I miss anything, uh, Ian? I've, I've said thanks to, to Ray. <laughs> this is the safari. Should we go there instead? Let's have a look to see how many's in and thingies. Here's Aqualand. Or as we say, Aqualand. <laughs> yeah, we'll go in there later on this week as well. Oh yeah, for, for dinner? Yeah. Yeah, nice uh, steak with chips. Let's so have I put my glasses on, see if there's room for four. You fancy a coffee? Aye, yeah, definitely. It looks like it. Right, noodles and jelly spoons. We're going to stop for coffee. Here's the Aqualand crowd. Time's not up at 10 o'clock, my one. I don't know. Take my life in my hands. Is this all right? Uh, so here we go, ladies and jelly spoons. Ah, uh, good morning, sunshine. Uh, coffee's just been made, says Stephen. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Hello there. All right, I'm just gonna have a drink, thanks. Yeah, just drinks. Uh, yeah, please, look. Coffee, lecce, lecce, please. Yeah. Big one. Yes, but, please. Yeah, well, grande mug or the small one? I'll have a grande. A grande, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, large uh, white coffee, two of them, yes. Yeah. Can I have a large white coffee yeah, as well? Yeah, three of them. Is that full? Full ounce, yeah. Thank you very much. So, ladles and jelly spoons.
Here we are in, uh, hey, get some sun with Paz. Love the channel. Thank you so much for the donation there. Flowers for you. I think it's 10 o'clock. We're thinking 10 o'clock, sorry. We're thinking 10 o'clock. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've been on 40 minutes, so it's a little bit shorter today, but we're going to wait for the coffee to come. And in the meantime, we'll have a quick chat with Dan here again. You still got your mic on, Dan? Hello, yes. So, um, why Tenerife? We came when we got married back in 2015, and it was my first time and I fell in love with it. And where did you stay the first time you were here? Uh, Fairways, in golf. Oh, golf does, sir. Yeah. You were saying last night, Jim, that's, that's your go-to place, isn't it? Yeah. I think the first place you go to is the one you really fall in love with, unless you have a really terrible time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I love the golf. You did? It's nice and quiet and relaxed. Don't feel like a holiday out there, down there. It feels more like home. Okay. And then we'll go like Christy Harris in America, so we realise we're on holiday, don't we? Yeah. Which is like a little day out for a walk and then... So you tend to do sort of like apartment type holidays rather than go to a, a, a yeah, normal inclusive or something like that? Like that. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, been known to go and buy food. I suppose with five kids it's hard to go out and find a restaurant, isn't it? It's not too bad. No. Because you've got... Over here we've sort of squeezed yeah. Over there we normally, we know a few people as well that have owned bars and things like that. So we usually stuck two of the same places and try some when they, if the kids say oh I want a Chinese we'll wander off so it's a very um, Belgian area, isn't it? Mm. Very Belgian. Yeah, I, I saw that on uh, Rick and Shelley's channel the other day. Yeah, they yeah. went for a Sunday, quiet Sunday out, and ended up um, handy some himmel on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit, it was that was, a everyone was having great fun there. So uh, I know you. I know you're dreaming of living here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brexit has, has basically killed that dream, yeah, has a it? A lot of people yeah. have ruined it. Yeah. Hmm? It's what? Very, very difficult for me. It's ma it, it makes it difficult for the simple reason is that it was easy before, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, it's not difficult really, uh, as long as you know you're coming from outside in. So anybody who's trying to get into any of the European countries, or Britain for that matter, knows that immigration is a nightmare, yeah, yeah. right? Because they only want the best of the best. We don't want people coming over on, on, you know, and sponging off the state, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And so it's all the same arguments that Britain has against people of colour, right? Is the same one as Europeans say non-Europeans. So the worst thing is, is you can't. You used to be able to come over here on holiday, look for the job, do a bit, do a bit of work, then get your NIE, yeah. then get your social security, and you know, and it'd all sort of like follow on from each other. Now you have to have your career planned. Mm or what you're going to do before you even start the process. And I know that um, uh, North Tenerife man, Steve and Denise Pearson, they've done it, but they came over on a non-lucrative visa, which means they've retired or they've got enough funds to fund themselves, right? And they're not allowed to work on those visas. So if you come over on a non-lucrative visa, yeah. nobody will employ you. So you have to have your own money, right? And you can come over and do autonomo, which is self-employment, what it used to do, you, you go to Autonomo, you wouldn't even have to put in a business plan. You just say, yeah, I'm going to be a self-employed, I don't know, beach bum. Mm. And they say, well, as long as you pay your 230 a month social security and what have you, and you pay tax every quarter, then we're all right with it, right? So it costs you between, so three and 500 euros, depending on what, what you did. Thank you very much, my darling. Um, just to become self-employed, and then, you'd, and then you'd have to give you, you've got to charge VAT as well from day one here. It's Thank none you. of this three. Thank you very much, darling. So that, that used to be an easy option, but now you need to process a bit. Sugar or you're okay with what? I think it's got, has it got condensed milk in it? Sweet and condensed milk? No, it's not got the leche leche. Okay, I thought no, we had leche leches. No, I thought you'd just ask for the big, uh, big white coffee. Okay, no. Obviously that's leche leche. Right. That'd be great if that were, yeah, thank you very much.
Yeah. That's right. You did say that. And I said, I'll have Exactly. We all have a natural itch. So I wouldn't put sugar in it then. Okay. I'll be right. I'll still drink it. On the day, so can't put sugar in. Can't <laughs> anyway, so we got it on film what I asked anyway, so go back, go. It wasn't much it wasn't much sugar. So um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so the autonomous thing, right? Yeah. So now you've got to pr um, present a business plan. And if that business plan doesn't bring in the minimum mm. for external workers. Just yours, and we all wanted it because I ordered that Lecce Lecce and they all wanted oh, sorry, the same. I but it's all right. It's all right. Have you got have you got a, a thing just to just to squeeze? You told me to take the coffee. Oh really? <laughs> got the amount of spit in them or what? <laughs> <coughs> just give them a squeeze. Yeah. Just put a little bit in. Mm -hmm. Charge me double, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying these. <laughs> Anyway, I so. <laughs> I don't forget I got a bank card. Thank you very oh, much, right. darling. Okay. Just give us a squeeze Tell in there. Me when. That's fine, just yeah. a squat, just a squat. Well, they put sugar in anyway, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Cheers, darling. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sweet. Now. All right, I'll still Thank you very much. What's your name, my darling? Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. You're very welcome. Thank you. You too. There you go. Is that, if I were to come I'm over, gonna put sugar in his own now. If I, if I were to come over and start a business, I think I'd know what I'd do. Knowing what you're doing and writing a business plan that yeah, yeah. they believe is gonna bring in this the amount yeah, of money yeah. you need to do, it's two different things. Because they don't know you. Mm. And you say, right, I'm gonna work twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, blah, 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 yeah. And they say, is a Brit is gonna come over and get drunk every night and not turn up for work yeah, in the morning. Because yeah. that's you know, that's what, what we're famous for here. Yeah. <laughs> So really, it's a lot harder now to, to do it as a non, well, I mean, any non-European has always been hard. It's just that now the Brits are non-Europeans. Yeah. You know? Or non-EU. I don't want to say non-Europeans, because you're still on the continent. Yeah? Possible, it's feasible. Yeah. I think the easiest way to get over here as a Brit now is to come over on a, um, uh, a non-lucrative visa if you got the money. Uh, if you're going to buy a house, then you can come over on the golden visa type thing where you you only have to invest 250,000. Right. Uh, oh no, 500,000, sorry, half a million. You invest half a million in the country, of which a portion of it can be your house. And as Steve was saying, they're flexible on where the money comes from. So you can say, right, I've got so much savings, I've got so much as a passive income, I've got so much as this, so much as that, and I'm gonna buy a house. Then you'll get to the, the level uh, quicker, yeah? And they're, they're pretty good with that. Right. But the, uh, what else was I going to say? There's a new visa that's just started, which is called the, um, uh, what's it called? Where you, where you work from home. Digital Nomad visa. Oh, yeah. I thought about that. Now, the Digital Nomad visa means you've got to get a, tele, a teleworking job outside of Spain. So you can actually get a job in Britain like my sister uh, runs a sales force. Yeah. It's not a sales force, it's a secretary's force. Yeah. So they do like uh, remote secretary work, answer phones, tech appointments, do all that, yeah? So she uh, she runs a, a group of those people for this, for this other company and she can do her job anywhere in the world. So theoretically, she could move over here, mm. carry on doing the job, as long as you don't earn Spanish money. Uh, you can, actually, you can. You can earn 20% of your income in Spain, but 80% um, of it has got to be from outside of Spain. And, but you pay tax in Spain. But they've given you five-year tax benefits as well. So you don't pay the, the income tax like you do here. Well, I don't think it's income tax, it's whatever the tax is. Yeah? So, um, so that's another way. So if you, yeah. can get a, if you can get a job in Britain doing telework that's you know, the, the, the way you can work anywhere in the world, then the, you can do that here as well. And that would be part of your, um, but I think you've got to do the job for a year in Britain before, before you come over. I think, well, I'm not sure about the, what the thing is, but there is, you can't yeah. just like uh, blag it, because yeah. otherwise that's what people would do. I'm at a job for a week, I'm moving. Uh, yeah. Now, once, you've got, once you're here a year, I think you can convert it then to a local, so you can get your social security number here. Oh, and the, the worst thing here, 
especially for you, Gemma, is health insurance. Because if you're not in the local system, you, well, if you, well, then, well, private health insurance that covers pre-existing conditions is a pre-condition to live here. So that might be the one that that does it. You know, so I don't want to pee on anybody's fire. No, no. But that's the one that got Chris as well. For the first year here, when we were getting um, residency, um, they said you need private health insurance to get you your card and we said well okay so I went they said you want to translate all your history into Spanish cost me 280 euros to translate all Christina's history into Spanish I sent it to 16 companies or whatever it wasn't 16 but I felt like it and none of them took it and mine right because I got high blood pressure and I'm a bit overweight <laughs> um, it was it wasn't I couldn't pay it you know it was it was more than I was earning so luckily enough, because it was pre-Brexit, we just stayed here, not illegally, what do they call it? They call, there's a special word for it, they call it. Let me get, I'll drink a coffee. Irregular. So we are, we would become irregular immigrants. That means we've lived here longer than three months and we haven't registered yet. So we'd be, you, you can become an irregular immigrant. And then we got the S1 from Germany, because Christina was a pensioner. I took that to Grenadilla, the stamp <coughs> and we got on the local system. And we've been on the local system. <laughs> and, now, um, and now I went autonomo. Well, first of all, I was unemployed, because Germany pays you six months looking for a job thing, right? At 80% of your last <coughs> wage. So the first six months here, I was on three and a half grand a month wow. on the dole, wow. looking for the job. And I went down to the, I says, um, do you like to send me the jobs then to go for interviews? And they went, what? I said, you're going to send me the jobs for interviews? They said, no, you've got to go and find your own job. I said, what happens if they don't find your own job? They said, well, then you're still unemployed, aren't you? Uh, so, better off. so you're not unemployed, there was, there, was no, there was no sort of like job seeker or anything like that. It was just basically, basically the unemployment office is a place, a place to go and die here, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and then what they did, after the three months, they um, they said you've got to register again. I said, but I don't have my extension from Germany, and so I was a week late. Right, coming. They docked a whole month's dole. Wow. In fact, they'd already paid it, so they took it back the next month. Wow. It sounds like our place. It was. was yeah. thing wrong. That's it, so about. after so after six months, um, they stops anyway. So then I said, right, I'll go, so I'll go self-employed magician. So actually on my self-employment papers, they didn't have magician. So I am an, uh, a comedian and illusionist. Oh. A man of extraordinary ability. <laughs> That's your visa. You're a man of extraordinary ability. <laughs> and how many years did you do that? Uh, for the first, well, 2015 I started, January 2015. And I think the last gig I did for, for a company was in 2017. And then I stopped to look after Chris full time. And then I just uh, yeah, became a carer, which was good because then I went on her health insurance. Uh, no, I get, I get help from Germany. And if I apply for the help here, the German help stops. And the, and the help here is advice. Stay with the gym. I think stick with the gym with a little bit of cash. Yeah, yeah. But that's finishing in October anyway. Well, it's not finishing, but I'm not. Being, I'm still a carer, but I'm retiring in October, so I'll get my old age pension then. So yeah. that'll be pretty cool. I can afford to buy my own coffee. <laughs> Poor old pensioners. Poor old pensioners. Yeah. Let's see what you guys are saying. Okay. Uh, Angie Bell, until the UK put the reciprocal agreement in with the EU, I won't be able to retire in Tenerife's plan. It was a result of extra expensive and less income, so it doesn't work. Yeah, terrible. Angry Bello, is, uh, he's, he's got a place down in uh, Las Americas. I have had one idea pointed oh, out to me. Someone said last time Tim was there, they dropped his window. You can go and talk to the Spanish consulate, make an appointment, yeah. and they're a bit they're flexible. Mm -hmm. in what you do. Yep. You just explain what you try to do. Yeah. 
and if you've got enough behind you. Exactly. Well, and that's the whole point. Is it, the whole point is the enough behind you and the medical. Yeah. And anything else is bunce. That's the bit they did to Bradford. You don't need that 30,000. No, you don't. It's a basically it's a it's a guideline that they use, I think, to stop people starting. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit that deterred me, so it works. <laughs> it does. It does. You have to go back to work now. See you soon. See you pass. Thanks a lot. We're in Lanzarote for two weeks. Cool dude. Eddie Reed says a couple of times Malibu Apartments just above you. What was it like, Eddie? Good morning, Fiona, Mark, LSC. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, cool, yes, sorry, I've seen it. One sugar ray, don't worry. Weihnachten in Malibu. One sugar and half a Okay, we're back to there now. So we do have 100 people watching now. Thank you very much for not making me a liar. <laughs> if you just joined us, we're outside Aqualand in a little place called Emingways. It's very, very um, famous because Dan the man comes here for breakfast most days, or did, <laughs> as the case may be. I don't know whether he's doing now because he's up in the, what's it called? Gemma Edwards is on. Good morning, Tim. Who's Gemma Edwards? Not you, is it? <laughs> Good morning. Oh, two people left. When I, <laughs> when I said we got 100 people on, two people left. Was that you? Did you leave? <laughs> right. The said home. Having a race. Right, I'm going to turn you around. You're on. Uh -huh. Jenna's on now. <laughs> so what do you want to say to your kids who are watching in catch up? To my kids, I'm sorry for leaving you. You'll probably beat me up. We'll probably get grumped out later for not bringing you all down, but we needed some peace. Oh, well. Before the boat trip. Are you going so, on the boat trip today? Today, yeah. yeah. Right. Pass so. it over to Ian. Yep. Plug your channel again, Ian. Plug my channel, Larry Drucker, on YouTube, but also on Facebook. If you, if you search it, you need to put in... Put in, Larry Drucker, I don't know what it is. Five, uh, 4512. 4512? At Flying Trucker At 4512. Flying, yeah. yeah, and you'll find it, all sorts of doggy walks. Doggy walks, there you go. And at the moment, a lot of Tenerife. Mm. So they've got reviews. some alternative Tenerife with lots of kids. Yeah. Go and have a look at that. Let's keep just... it mega madhouse with kids. Yeah. So give us a smile and you can do a freeze frame here of you in any way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows the difference between a smile and a grimace. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Dan cleared his throat so we can also say. Wait, hang on. There we go. There we go. What do you want to say to your kids? Oh, you better be, you better have been good for grandma. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had one. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm my brother. <laughs> well, it was like oh, yeah, Evie won it, screamed all the way from our apartment all the way down. <laughs> yeah. Screaming attacks. Ten and nine and screaming through a complex. So like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and jelly streams, let's get a nice background here. The bus, maybe? No. Aqualand? No, we'll do. There you go, Aqualand. The castle. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Spoons, thank you so much for joining us today. I'd like to thank Jenna and Dan and Ian, the flying trucker, for coming with me eventually. And um, we had a nice little walk. Uh, if you want to stay in this area, don't forget there's lots to do here. You don't have to nip down to the beach all the time. In fact, Cardiac Hill is uh, beckoning these to people. But I'm going to offer them a lift if they want it. I've got three spots in the car, and uh, or I'll just follow them <laughs> in the car. <laughs> So I'd like to thank you for joining me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed If you like this type of thing, consider subscribing. Uh, tomorrow morning, I don't have anybody registered, but Webby has booked me for Thursday. So the walk is going to be in Chaos of Aki on Thursday morning. If you want to join that, um, let me know. I'm, I'm going to change it when I get home um, that it's booked for Thursday with Webby because I didn't do that yet. So if you if you book for Thursday, I'm afraid I'm going to have to bounce you or pick you up and bring you to Chaos of Aki or you come on the bus. Anyway. I'm waffling. And what's happening with waffling? What's, what's wrong with waffling? It's my channel, do what I want. <laughs> so I'm going to put uh, one of Flying Trucker's um, uh, videos up here. Which one do you suggest? It's too late. Um, <laughs> if you want to support the channel, do it here. Subscribe for free here. And I'll put Flying Trucker's um, 
channel up here as well. Go and give him some love. Let's get him to at least 100. See you. Word man, I'll be you.